Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel called Sew Notes. Alright, it's Friday so that means it's another round of hashtag Friday sews and I want to say thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting such a wonderful hashtag. I have really enjoyed being part of this hashtag and it's just a great community on Friday. So this is my version of Friday sews. I have a little bit of, of a mix to talk about, some sewing and some crafting. Um, I was somewhat busy this week and uh, let's get started. So this week I am finishing up on my McCall's 70, 76.26 and I made this view right here that was view B but I, I, I'm finishing it a little bit different. I didn't get the um, buckles instead I'm going to be doing a uh, button so I'm going to put some buttons right here and then this will come over and attach like that so this is your sneak peek of it I think it turned out lovely and this is all sewn on my new Juki DDL 8700H so I sewed this on here it's 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 heavy material and it handled it nice and well. So I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So that's a bit of a fallish, winterish color project. So I'm kind of excited to get it in the past and move on to like summer type of thing. So before I start summer, I'm going to be sewing my daughter the teddy bear fabric. Um, that was gifted from Minerva as well. So I'm gonna be starting that right away. Uh, this took this project took a little bit longer than I was anticipating. Uh, I was a little bit confused on attaching the waistband to the bodice. I was just confused and there's a lining involved and I was just really confused and I reached out to a couple people to help me out through that so thanks for everyone that helped me out through that. Um, when I do my pattern review I'll talk more thoroughly about uh, my difficulties but yeah, I, I kind of plan to make and I have a rough idea of how long it's going to take me and then I just got stuck on there. So we're almost done it. So that's that. Um, my daughter's birthday is in July and with end of May and June coming up, it's a busy season for work. And so I know if I don't start planning her birthday now, come end of June when I'm done work, I'm not going to have much time between her birthday and the end of work to get planning done. And besides, you know what, we even had new restrictions today. So we're even in a stricter lockdown than we were a week ago or two weeks ago. Every week they just keep adding new restrictions. But that's where we're at. So I don't even know if we're having a birthday party with people or if it's just us. But she's turning four and of course I have to decorate. Regardless if we have people over or not, I'm decorating for her and I'm going to decorate as if we're having people over. So I started off making is a happy birthday banner. So that's the H for happy birthday. And I used purple or lilac cardstock, um, a light blue cardstock and a pink. So these are her um colors for her birthday and I guess after seeing this you could kind of take a guess at what her theme is mermaid so I did happy birthday and her name and these this I will leave a link to the um the the website that I got this SVG file from so this is made on my Cricut machine and then I had a personal day on Wednesday and so I went to the Dollar Tree and I know that they have the Dollar Tree in the States. I don't go to the Dollar Tree that often, but I decided to stop in there and I picked up some of these plates. I thought that would be good for maybe cake. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then the, I bought two of these glass plates 
I thought those were cute to put maybe candies on or something. And then I bought two of these. They're just notebooks. But I figured for a goodie bag for a couple of her friends, that's one thing I could add to the goodie bag. So that's all. Oh, and I bought these decorations too. So that's what I picked up for her birthday. Um, I'll still be adding more to it, but I have to start now because I won't have time because her birthday is actually July 5th. So I won't have time between the end of work and July 5th to get all this stuff done. So I'm starting now. It might seem early, but trust me, I'm starting now and it's, it's a good thing I'm starting now. All right. So then I told you I'm going to be sewing that teddy bear and then... My next project after the teddy bear is going to be another project, but this one's for Fabricville. And this is Butterick 6674. And I was leaning towards view C. View C has like a little ruffle on the neckline, but I don't know if I have enough fabric for view C. So if I don't, I'll be doing view B right here, which is right here, the green one. And so this was gifted to me from Fabricville and I w I'm going to be using this cotton um, linen blend. And you know how much I love linen. So I figured that would be a very cute summer dress. And um, as I was, as I said last Friday, so it was about inspiration overload. What I'm, what I think I'm going to do with this one is I have my embroidery machine. I mentioned that I bought the embroidery machine to embroider things and be more unique and like special to me. And I was thinking, let's just use this one as the example uh, because it's a solid color. I was thinking of embroidering some design along the bottom of the dress. Like I think that would be cute. Or my second thought is that there are big patch pockets in the front there. And I was even thinking about embroidering a design on the patch pocket. So actually, I've spent less time on Instagram this week and more time on embroidery library because I'm looking for the perfect embroidery file for this dress. I haven't found it yet, but that's my ideas for this, this dress and making it my own. So that's going to be next. After that, Simply Delilah, she sewed a top that is striped black, was it blue and white or black and white? Black and white, I think. I can't remember, but I'll leave a link so that you could check it out. It's a black and white striped with um, leopard print sleeves and a pink band, a neckband and sleeve bands. And I really want to make that, but I, mine would be with black and white stripe. Um, like it would be black fabric with the white stri stripes, leopard print sleeves and pink collar. And this is the pattern I'm thinking of using is McCall 7286. And I think just a simple view A would do the trick of achieving the look that she has. So I'll leave a link to her channel so that you could see that top that I'm talking about. But that's that's going to be my next project after that. I went to the Dollar Tree on my personal day and I went to the fabric store and I picked up a couple patterns. I didn't find any fabric that really caught my eye, but um, this is Butterick 6467 and I just thought this was cute. It's a vintage apron pattern and I just thought that was really cute. It could be cute for gifts, so... I got that and then this one is a Vogue 1603 and Lindsay from Inside the Hem made this pattern and it's actually if you watch her channel it's actually on her intro like the intro to her channel this is the dress and jacket that she made that's on the intro and I saw it and I, I want to make this one day not anytime soon, but they're clearing them out for $6. I don't know how much 
Vogue patterns are in the States, but here they're quite pricey. Like if it's not on sale, it's $30 and I wouldn't pay that. So for $6, I picked it up and that's all I picked up. And that's all my plans for now. Uh, with work, life is going to get a little bit busier for the next little while because we're wrapping up work. Um, other than that, nothing really new to report on here. Uh, the only thing is I have um, uh, Emmeline bags um, package coming tomorrow. So my next video will be uh, unpackaging of the Emmeline bags because there's a certain pattern that I want to make and there's inspiration. I seen inspiration and I just had to get that color. So my next video is going to be an unpackaging of this Emmeline bags uh, little haul that I got. Uh, it involves some vinyl, some fabric and purse hardware. So I'm excited to show you that. So that's all for my Friday sews. I encourage you to check out the hashtag Friday sews to see what the other sews have been up to. Uh, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon. Thank you.